What is going on guys, it's Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to zoom in and zoom out on Tony Vegas Pro 12. Okay, so this is actually really simple to do, and I'll be showing you this with a video and an image. So, we're going to start with the video. Go ahead and drag that into Sony Vegas. Okay, so I'm just going to shorten the clip here. Literally really short, so about there. 37 seconds, okay, that'll do. Okay, so let's say on this part right here, you want it to zoom in on his, uh, I think it's his phone, but yeah. So what you want to do, you're going to go ahead and split the clip. Then you want to press this pan and crop here. And now mine appears up here, yours may appear on a pop-up window, but it's still the same. So before you do anything, you want to make sure you are on normal edit tool. Lock aspect ratio is on and size about center is also on. So we're going to go ahead and zoom it in. So we're going to zoom it in on his phone right here. So what you do is drag from the side and go in. And you can see it is going in. And the graphics are still good. The quality does not mess up. So actually that's probably a bit of a bad example. But let's say we want to uh, zoom in onto Hello Ben. So yeah, you can see if you go in quite a lot, the quality will start to go down. So, we'll zoom in onto that. So there we go, that is now zoomed in, so if we go to this video again, and we just play it, you can see it does zoom in straight away. Now of course, you might not want it to be zoomed in the whole time, so what you can do, you again, split the clip. Now, this is the other clip that you want it, want the zoom to go away. So you click event pan and crop again, now, very simple, all you do, right click and click restore. And you can see the video is now back to normal. So we'll go ahead and take a look at what that will be like. So from there, zooms into hello, hello, and it's back to normal. Pretty simple. And now we'll go ahead and get into the zoom out. So the zoom out is pretty easy. It's basically the same as what we just done except we're doing it the opposite way around. So we've got his phone right here, and let's say we want it to zoom out there. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna split the clip, we're gonna go to the start of the clip, we're gonna press pan and crop, then make sure they are checked, lock aspect ratio, size about center, and normal edit tool. So this time, we're gonna drag outwards and you can see the video is going smaller each time now of course use your scroller and you can scroll all the way out and you can see how small the video can actually go so we can drag it all the way out if we want to and that is the smallest the video will go so drag it in and out now of course if you mess up on this there is an easy way to get it back to normal you just right click and click restore and then you can go ahead and resize it to what you want so that's basically it. So now I'll be showing you this on an image. So I've gone ahead and got my old YouTube channel up. Now, again, it is an image, so it's pretty easy to do this. Now let's say we want to zoom into where it's my Twitter is here. So we're going to press the event pan and crop. Make sure normal edit tool is checked, lock aspect ratio is checked, and size about center is also checked. So again, we're going to go in from the side and we're going to zoom all up. We're going to zoom in. Then we're going to go ahead and drag it all the way up here. You can see we are now zoomed in to my Twitter. So again, if we want to do another thing, so we want it to be normal for a bit and then we want it to zoom in to my uh uh, Twitter then again we split the clip we go to the start of the right video here click event pattern crop go ahead and zoom out 
Now we're going to zoom all the way in and we're going to go to the Twitter which is right here. So we're going to zoom in on the Twitter again. Right here. So now if we go ahead and look at the video. It'll go like that. So of course you can play around with it. So I'll just do something else real quick. So I'll split the video there. So I'll show you how you can actually use this effectively. Obviously it won't look that good because I'm not taking time, I'm just showing you. So if we play the video, you can see we'll zoom in and it is scrolling down one by one. Now to make it scroll down nice and smooth as you saw here, it started to scroll down. If you want the whole video like that, it's pretty simple. I'll show you that now. Okay, so this time you make no splitting. So it's already zoomed in onto the Twitter logo. Let's just get rid of this. Okay, so we'll have the video zoom in on the Twitter logo. So I want it to change every second. So you can see it's on one second now. And we're not going to split. What we're going to do is going to go straight to the event pan and crop. Now we are going to go ahead and scroll down. So we scroll down like this. And there you go, that's one second. We're going to go to the next second, which is right there. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down again. And then, this time when we watch it, let's just go to the three seconds. Which is here. Just add a quick little fade in, fade or fade out. So, if we watch the video now, you can see it does zoom down and scrolls down. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really easy. Just remember, zoom out is dragging it out. Zoom in is pulling it in. And to add a little scroll effect or something, then you just got to add keyframes by just going across and moving it. And it automatically adds a keyframe. So we'll do it again. Adds in the keyframe. And yeah, that is it, guys. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.